Ultimately, we think there's going to be room for a good handful of low-code application delivery tools vendors. Of course, the large platform vendors have key strengths, not least of which is the strategic relationships they have with many of their customers. But they're really never able to address the needs of the whole market, and quite often that's by design. Low-code vendors of all shapes and sizes have, have grown very significantly to date by building customer bases in the mid-market, and they're now starting to grow into the largest enterprises. There's often a, a really strong proposition for them there in the big enterprises, although it's a little different to the proposition they might offer a mid-sized business. Critical for the specialist is going to be uh, to get to really get to know the markets and their clear differentiators in those markets that they're serving, and particularly to know how to position with respect to the big platform vendors. The simple answer is yes. I'd say the main impact of the pandemic has been that for most businesses, people's behavior has changed dramatically. Previous patterns of supply and demand no longer apply. Companies have to think differently, to be agile, and to respond to new and rapidly changing scenarios. While on the one hand, in many companies, IT budgets are being constrained, we're also seeing increased demand for tools and approaches that can help with better planning, especially collaborative and cloud-based planning tools. Patterns of work have also changed, and there's great emphasis on pushing out data to decision makers, enabling evidence-based decision making across the organization. We predict rising demand for integrated planning suites and advanced analytics software the new normal is one of continued uncertainty. Companies must invest to cater for the changing demand environment that they will have to deal with for the foreseeable future. Well, until relatively recently, it used to be the case that these two groups of vendors and types of practices were based on very different uh, technology approaches and stacks. Business automation vendors typically built tools with proprietary runtimes, integration approaches, and so on. But app delivery vendors were really way ahead of them in embracing open standards and open source. Now what we're seeing though is that the, the really rapid push to public cloud platforms and the embrace particularly of DevOps has really created an environment for quite rapid convergence between these two different approaches. And now we're seeing that at, at some speed, the low-code players uh, across multiple market segments, from straightforward application development to application integration and even RPA, for example. These vendors are redeveloping their own runtime platforms to embrace modern cloud platform advantages. They're using containers and orchestration and microservices and open APIs and so on. And so from an architectural and operational perspective at least, these two worlds are really coming together pretty fast.